Hi, my name's Neville Merritt from boatangling.co.uk and I'm going to explain how to use the ordinary ring method of anchor retrieval safely. First of all, what is this ordinary ring method? Well, it's simply a way of using the forward motion of your boat to lift the anchor instead of hauling by hand or using a winch. However, you have to know what you're doing with this method so that you can do it safely. In addition to your anchor, rope and chain, you'll need a buoy capable of floating with the weight of your anchor and chain hanging off it. You can use a buoy, a circular fender, or even a sealed plastic drum. You'll also need a stainless steel ring large enough for the anchor chain to run easily through it. The ring is connected to the buoy with a shackle or a short rope, such as the one in this picture. The ring has to slide along the anchor rope, connecting the buoy to the rope. The buoy has to be large enough to float the combined weight of the anchor and the chain. The buoy I'm using is about 30 centimetres in diameter or 18 inches and easily floats a 7.5 kilogram anchor with 5 metres of chain. There are two types of ring you can use, a continuous ring which has to be put on the anchor rope before you drop the anchor, or a ring with an opening like this one. I prefer this type because you can attach it to the anchor rope after you have dropped the anchor and unclip it when the anchor is back on board. So let's start pulling our anchor up with the Alderney ring method. First of all, we attach the buoy to the anchor with the ring so it's free to slide down the anchor rope. What we're going to do is to start the engine and power our boat in a half circle around the point on the seabed where the anchor is holding. Then we will power forward running up tide to pull the anchor up to the buoy. The next few diagrams and photos will demonstrate that sequence. Firstly, this is our starting position at anchor, as seen from above. And the same position, seen from the side. Now, we've started the engine and we're following a path that loops around the anchor. The dotted line is the anchor rope, now starting to belly out with the pressure of the water. The buoy slides down the rope as the boat moves forward. This is a side view of that same position. The boat is now nearer to us than the anchor is. Now we are motoring around the anchor point and the buoy is creating an upwards pressure on the anchor, breaking it out of its hold on the seabed. This shows that side view again. This is the point where you have to be very careful not to run over the anchor rope. Keep your eye on the buoy and rope as you move forward, as from this point on you'll be towing the buoy as you motor up tide. Continue moving forward in a straight line and you'll notice the buoy duck and bob as the chain reaches the ring and slips through it. If you don't pull the chain through the ring, the anchor will slip back to the seabed and you'll be anchored again. I like to push the throttle down a little at this point just to make sure the chain runs through the ring. To prepare for pulling the rope and anchor back on board, I find it easier to circle around so the bow points towards the buoy. If you can't reach the foredeck, you'll have to catch the rope with a boat hook and pull the anchor rope into the cockpit. The hauling process is now very easy. The weight of the anchor is now carried by the buoy and you can pull it in with almost no effort. As you pull the rope in, stow it neatly, then pull the anchor aboard. The example here shows a plough anchor rigged for tripping. The ring has slipped right down the stock, giving it no chance to accidentally drop back while we are pulling it in. So there you are, that's all there is to it. However, there are a few tips to make this process as safe as possible. Firstly, find somewhere quiet and sheltered and practice a few times. Don't try this for the first time in deep water in a strong tide. Second, don't use this method if there are other boats anchored close by. You'll need plenty of room to circle round your anchor point. Third, always attach your anchor rope to the bow, never anywhere else, even when you're pulling the rope in. If the rope was attached to a cleat on the side or stern and the anchor drops back or your engine stalls, you'd be anchored sideways or stern on in a tide which is highly dangerous and can lead to a sudden capsize even with larger boats. Fourth, always keep an eye on that buoy so you know where the rope is. You don't want to run over it and tangle it around your propeller. 
And finally, if you lose sight of the buoy or it's beginning to go wrong, just put the engine in neutral, drop back and try again. This instructional video on anchor retrieval was presented by boatangling.co.uk. I hope you enjoyed it. Tight lines and stay safe.